So welcome out to spec again. This time I'm on my way out on this four day tour with three clients. We have problem with the trails and we are actually stuck in a small area because it's really bad ice in some places and it's wet and yeah, let's roll the intro. We are Stina and Matti. We run a lifestyle company in the north of Swedish Lapland. For living, we work as nature guys and dog mushers. This is our life, our dream and our home. You're welcome to follow us on the journey. Now I actually have prepared the sleds. They are loaded with food, dog food and everything we need for this tour. I have three person, one German guy and a French couple and we are going out four days in the forest west of Jokmok. Before we started this tour, Stina and I have been working quite hard with the trails. It's always like that during this part of the year. This winter has been extremely warm, actually crazy warm. The ground under the snow is not really frozen. And the lakes that usually are safe to cross have been really dangerous during the beginning of December. Now in front of us you see we have a quite wet trail. It's very short but that thing behind is quite heavy. I hope we could manage it. Yes, 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 yes. Now it needs to freeze and then we come back and put up snow on the ice. Super, super. Small creeks that usually is frozen and covered with snow is now still open water. We have spent a lot of hours out on the trails. We tried to make the trails for this upcoming four day tour. We failed. We had to run plan B, plan C and finally plan I don't know. This is shit. Always shit. The important part is that we finally actually could run the tour. We had enough with the trails. Anyway, now we're heading out on the first day and we're aiming for our tent camp. During different week, uh, we try to change the dogs in that follow out on the longer tour. So some stay home and some go out. And this week I took the dogs with me that are super crazy eager. So what I'm doing is that I take, I take the crazy dogs in my team so I can look after them. That's usually young dogs and dogs that are eager to go. And then I put a little bit more crazy dog in the team just behind me and the calmest dog in the last team 
because if I'm close to the dog I can give more pressure on them and tell them they're looking more at me and listen to me Yeah, yeah. This is Not fun, or maybe it's fun to make this uphill. I don't know. It's the beginning of the season, also. So I'm training the dogs, but the guide is not trained so much. So my main leader this week is Nisse, it's the son of Gandalf and he's quite young but he listened to commands and he wanna please me, he wanna really, if I ask him left he do left, he's a very nice dog, he understands, clever and bright. Together with Nisse I have Gandalf, Gandalf is also a very very nice dog, he wants a lot, it's actually a lot of dog, Gandalf wants forward forward without brain behind that we have Dallas Dallas is like an Indian he is not a good leader but his siblings are a good leader and then we have the small and tiny Sophia that always working super super hard she's maybe 15 kilo I don't know very very cute small female actually the only female I have in my team this week behind that we have Elof Elof is muscles, power, uh, big guy. And then we have also Flo. And Flo is a really hard working dog that works super, super intensive. And he could be really tired. Uh, but he's, he's doing fine. And he's quite nice guy. I like him very much. I like all dogs very much. All of our guests are super nice with our dogs. And that's actually the most important thing for us. We don't want to bring out people here who see the dogs as a toy. We want people who understand that it's an animal that you had to work with and show respect to. The dog should be a friend that you're out here and working with. And we are so thankful for all these nice people we meet out here. And our customers also this week, they are wonderful they're doing everything for the dogs and helping me a lot with the dogs during a tour like this we live on the trail more or less traveling with the dogs eating camping and so on every day we make campfire make coffee and prepare lunch out on the trail Yes. Really? No. It's the most this cheap is what you delicatessen. Your students and now we have lunch time, and everybody is so fascinated that Alexander is working actually. They've never seen that before, so both Julia and Fabian is filming him. This is the first time when Alex is actually doing something on this trip. Exactly. 
It's only because you're filming that I'm doing something. <laughs> Normally, on a tour like this, we spend one night in the tent camp, in the canvas tent, with a wood stove inside. And then we spend two nights in the wilderness cabin. Because of the unsafe ice on the lake, we had to spend all nights in tents during this tour. We spent the first and the last night in the canvas tent with the wood stove. And the second night we spent in smaller mountain tents. We had open fire outside the tent and made our outdoor dinner and coffee and then we went into the tent into our cozy sleeping bags and yeah that's usually no problem the cabin is nice and i hope we will reach it during beginning of january So right now we're setting up the tent, we're making fire and start cooking for the dogs and then we start cooking for us. Can you explain what you're doing now? Isn't it obvious? A snowman? It's a snowwoman. Stop being such yeah. a misogynist. I mean, this is, a, come on, this is a Me Too. Uh, this is 2020. So it's how? It's a snowman anymore, it's a uh, snowwoman. She's a okay. bit fat, yeah. she's a bit overweight, but don't discriminate, please. Okay. Snow women run the world. Okay. But you are happy. Yes, we are happy. Yeah. <laughs> But you should not be so close to her. Why? Two meters is COVID. <laughs> Social distance. We're gonna bring her a mask. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now this tour is more or less over. And thank you for watching. And a big thank you to Fabian, Julia and Alex who follow on this tour. It was nice to meet you. And you welcome back. So, see you in the next video. Ciao.